Hey guys, what's up? Black or Bricks here, back with another video for Set Review Sunday. So today I'm going to be taking a look at set number 70502. This is Cold's Earth Driller and it comes with 171 pieces. So I haven't shared this much on the channel, but I am actually a pretty big Ninjago fan. Uh, the majority of my Lego backlog is Ninjago sets. And I remember picking this up last year on eBay, um, sealed, because obviously um, I love building sealed sets more than used ones. And uh, I really, really like Cole, one of my favorite characters, and obviously one of my favorite uniforms. So the Kimono Cole was a minifigure I really wanted to get. So that's just a bit of backstory, but let's jump into the Earth Driller first. Okay, so this is the main build in the set. This was one of the vehicles that was used in uh, Season 2, the final battle. And uh, it came together really quickly, actually. It was surprisingly fast. Uh, the build only took about 15-16 minutes, and I actually had a lot of fun with it. It was very accurate to the show. I'm honestly not sure if they designed the set first or the, the model in the show. But it is very, uh, it's, it's simple, but it's effective. There is a basic, just a T gear, I guess. There's not even any box. It's just two gears just intersecting. And so when this is rolled forward or backwards, this will uh, rotate just like that. And uh, yeah, it's, it's nothing too complicated. Obviously, um, I, I can really take this apart just real quick and show you how it's uh, working. Let me just grab that out of there. So there are two gears pretty much. There is one over here that goes this way and then the other one rotates the other way. So that's that's how it gets this uh, this interesting effect of the outside wheel going one direction and the little driller going the other. And I of course love the, actually the sensible stickering over here. Let me zoom in on that to show you what it is. It's just about uh, one on each side on this uh, one by three brick. And it's it's nothing too crazy. And uh, as I speak, the pieces are coming off, but it's a uh, it's it's useful. It, it adds for the texture, and I feel like this rock piece right here is perfect for this build. I really like the gold accents on this set. A, I really appreciate that, and I feel that it's very uh, it's very good with the the rest of the color scheme. There are also hints of uh, sand green in here, which is another one of my favorite Lego colors, which really just gives this Lego set a, a lot of uh, personal appeal. Um, as you can see, there is just a bit of the, uh, there's Technic brick showing peeking through over here, which is what the wheels are connected to. Um, back here we have a hard wheel, which is the same as the driller in the front, and then here we have a softer wheel, or uh, rather tread tire. Um, back here we have a, the majority of the stickers you can see in just this uh, one shot right here. Let me zoom in on those. Oh, that's tough. Yeah, so we have some uh, stickers, some say cabin airs, do not step, and uh, we have a bit of an exhaust actually going on back there. We also have these two swords, which can be angled with a simple uh, just pivot, or rather hinge, sorry. And we have some more exhausts right up there. But that's pretty much it for Cole's Earth Driller. A uh, really solid, tight build, great uh, play features, and in general, it's well designed. So here we have the two minifigures that are included in the set. Uh, on the left, we just have a uh, nondescript stone warrior, and of course, Cole in his kimono suit, which is extremely attractive. I really, really like the design of it. It's very simple, but it has those nice touches that make it uh, so unique. Um, unfortunately, the Stone Warrior, his, uh, his wide-brimmed hat the, in red, actually, it does cover up quite a bit of his face. I'll just show that to you. It's the old-style uh, wide-brimmed hat, and if I just remove that, you can see that he has an extremely colorful face. It's uh, black with some really, really vibrant blue printing, and honestly, it's even hard to capture it with this good quality camera, so you can tell that they did a fantastic job with it. Um, he does have some more of the uh, Stone Warrior printing on his front. He comes with just a sword and a, a bit of shoulder pads, and then some repetitive patterns on the back. Now, Cole over here comes with the green elemental uh, earth blade. He has, I believe, the same helmet that they used for a while in the beginning seasons. If you remove that, you have the classic uh, Cole face from at least before. He does not have an altar face, but he does have the uh, earth logo on the back just some very simple printing i really really love the dark bluish gray and black color scheme it works extremely well just due to the simplicity of it and uh, on the front it's just the more of that 
So yeah, those are pretty much the two figs that come in the set. Um, let's move on to the final verdict. All right, so this set was a ton of fun to put together. I know this is a pretty biased opinion because this is one of my favorite characters in one of his favorite outfits. So obviously I do like it, but I feel that even from an objective, stand, uh, objective point of view, this is a well-designed set. Even though it's only about 170 pieces, uh, retails for $20. It comes with everything you want in a playset like this. It has a as a hero figure and a villain figure. It has a couple of cool play features. Um, would it have been cool maybe if they included some uh, firing cannon or something? Uh, I guess. Uh, the trailer feels like it's enough for me, honestly. And I couldn't really have asked for too much more. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Let me know if there are any other sets you would like me to look over in the future. Don't forget to check out my Patreon, which is now live. And uh, maybe even check out some of the affiliate links down below. I would love if you check them out. It really helps support the channel. And that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed and have a fantastic day.